Uh, the scene on Atlantic Avenue, the Barclays Center, where the Raptors will try to get back on the winning track tonight. We are in Brooklyn, and if it stood on its own, it would be one of the top five cities in the U.S. And take a look at the changes for Toronto. The big one, Leo Malachi Flynn in there, along with the usual suspects of Trent Jr., Barnes, Siakam, and Birch. The Nets go with Mills, Curry, Brown, Johnson, and Drummond, a couple of new additions. Trent Jr. all over Curry, almost knocked it away. Great pursuit from behind. Bruce Brown, corner three is good. We talked about him off the top. He's just an energy guy. He can knock down some jumpers, but at his size, plays so much bigger than he is guarding Scotty Barnes now. Barnes, wing three, good. Down the bottom of the well for the Florida State Seminole. I think we've been around each other way too long. Raptors aggressive again. Take it, get another steal, and Barnes gets the jam. A great pass from Gary Trent Jr. on that play. That was pretty good defense by Trent Jr. on the miss by Thomas. And Leo, it's so tough to guard after the offensive rebound. Well, Kayla mentioned, you know, Malachi Flint. He was one of the guys that spent the most time talking with Lord Dragon before the game. So obviously, he had a lot of input with him. Precious Achua knocks it in the bottom of the well. Waiting and waiting to see what was going to develop. And it, came, and it opened up. Boucher, corner three, got it. Leo, drive, kick, swing. <laughs> and give me a three in the bottom of the well. That's the way to play the game. Keep it simple. Church back at you with the three. Big man stepping out. Well, you know, you know it's scary. You got some vets like Dragic, Griffin, Aldridge. When you got everybody at full strength on this team, those guys can really offer some, something without a lot of pressure. Achua says the well's not empty yet. Here's three more. His <laughs> step back, 18 footer, no good. Aldridge with an easy bucket. Leo, that's where Toronto got in trouble against Charlotte and Atlanta. Transition D. Yeah, you, you know, you want to maintain your intensity, keep your floor balanced. If you're not a rebounder, you're getting back. Pachua off balance floater, got it. Hey, when you're feeling it, Leo, it. he's become a good young pro. James Johnson, yeah. three. I mean, he's not playing, but obviously you can see by tonight he's ready. Yeah, I mean, you got to be, right? Because you don't know when that opportunity comes, and if you're not ready to seize it, that's when you got a problem. He's obviously been working really hard to get ready for this. Barnes drives the closeout, bounces off Curry, lays it in, and says, I got three. Siakam on Mills, the double comes. Oh, great cut by Watanabe, and Scotty finds him with a dime. What does he do, Jones? He catches it. Brooklyn at 35%, shooting at a teacup right now, and Toronto's getting everything up and down. This kid is ridiculous. Look at that, shooters just can't get any light. Finally. Seth Curry knocks it down and took a drive on the baseline. Keep exploring, right? All right, Pascal says, how about this one? Down the bottom of the well for Spicy P. Raptors push the lead to 76-51. Yeah, Pascal struggled the first half, just one of 10, but he did have six assists, three steals, two block shots, contributed in every other way. Bruce Brown, three. John Vaughn. Flynn, three, good. Down the bottom of the well. Leo, the zone has definitely changed the tempo of the game for the Raptors. But again, another offensive rebound. This one goes down the bottom of the well for Flynn. Watson blocks. Scotty Barnes said, no, sorry. Kitchen closes at nine. From the first, first ball, and that was it. Set the tone. Banton gonna get a run out and jam it down. Jacques Vaughn said, gets up and says, stop the train. Stop the train right now. Back in the house tomorrow night. Toronto takes care of business on the road tonight in Brooklyn. 133-97. The Raptors get a win. Solid performance, start to finish. Everybody contributed.